Hello, hello, my stamping friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy with our weekly Facebook Live. It is August 4th already. Can you even believe that? We are into August. Um, so if you're watching live, welcome. If you're watching the replay, that's when this is happening live. But this information or the cute little project I'm sharing is relevant for a long time. Um, so I'm really excited what I came up with. I don't know if you're on Facebook watching this, you know, usually in the morning I say, hey, I'll be live today at, you know, 11. And I shared a picture of my desk this morning. I had no idea what I was doing when I came down here. And then I thought, well, I have no time. I started my coffee. I'm not going to have time to like fix my hair, do my makeup, anything like that. <laughs> because I was like running a little behind. Well, needless to say, I figured out some time, did the project, went and kind of combed my hair. And then I grabbed a cup of coffee. Like I didn't even get coffee. So the whole reason to come down here was to start the coffee. You know how that goes. But then I had to, cause look at this. I'm so excited to share this. My friend Brenda, this came in the mail yesterday morning, sent me a little Canadian care package. So I talk a lot about how stamping just isn't, is definitely not about the stamps, ink and paper. It's not. I met Brenda through stamping and we are like the best of friends now. So anyways, thank you, Brenda. Um, and she's usually so busy doing her own thing that she doesn't catch these, but if she happens to, or if you know Brenda, you know, cheers to her. All right. And it is really coffee. I really can't share with you. We like to share a beverage, you know, together in the evening during a, a chat or something, but it really is coffee today. All right. Anyways, lots going on here. I looks like we're here on Facebook. Some of you are saying good morning. There's my volume. All right. Let's turn that off. All right, good morning, Cindy and Mary, Barb. We have Sharon watching. All right, so everybody is here. Let's get started. So again, I wasn't even gonna say hi, like, you know, as far as showing myself today, because we have a lot to talk about. Cute little project I came up with today. Celebration, second celebration started yesterday. Oh, you got a little view of my project. I gotta make sure I tighten up this. So just sit tight while I get this ready. Look, so you can get a glimpse now what we're working on today. Not the penguin that's on top there. That is my um, celebration August order special. I don't know what I shared last, but it looks like I got to bring this down. I don't remember when we were live last. I don't remember if I did two last week or not. Again, the days, the weeks, they all run together. Okay, looks like we're going to be all set. Get a cute little second view of my Canadian um, Starbucks coffee mug. All right, looks like I need to adjust a little bit more. And so I had sent her one. She collects them. I didn't even know they were such a thing, um, the travel mugs, but she collects them. And so she wasn't able to go on the Maui trip. So when we were there, she asked if I would um, send her one. Of course, that was not a problem. And now she sent me one from Canada. So I'm so grateful for that. She also sent some candy. Now, would you believe this? Cute little story here, if you know my children. Um, and more so my son. So if you come to class, you know that he likes his, he likes his treats, that's for sure. And she sent me, and I don't know, oh, I did bring it down here. Let me see. I got to show this to you. So if you're just here for the project, don't worry, it's coming. You can just forward through all this mumbo jumbo if you are watching the replay. But I got to do a little chat and so everybody can find the live and whatnot and just tell you a little story. So she also sent me these great little candies, right? And I told the kids, I want to take like a little picture of it, shout her out on Instagram, thank her for the gift. And she sent me these. So I told the kids, do not eat any of these until I get a picture of them. And then I will share with you. So maple caramels. And you know what? They're really good. I snuck one. However, when I went yesterday to open it, just to see like about taking the picture, I open it up. So this little deal comes off. And look at this. And then you open it up. Now, do you think Brenda sent me a thing of candy that was only like, do you really think it only came with like 10? I don't think so. So I think maybe somebody was sneaking some candy at my house. So I have a feeling I know who that was. Anyways, little funny story about our house. That's, you know, what you get when you have boys that are loving and in all kinds of activities. They, he, you know, he probably claims he needs that little sugar rush to keep him going. He's in tennis this week. All right, one last drink of the coffee and then let's get started. August to December mini catalog went live yesterday. Order special. Um, $50 orders. Of course, you're going to get a free item from the celebration catalog right here from Stampin' Up. And then you're going to get a free embellishment from me. And then you're also going to get a retired embellishment from me. So you're going to get two embellishments 
And then the Stampin' Up! perks as well, punch card, and which gets you a free um, stamp set, any value after 10 punches. Send a little paper perk, all kinds of goodies in the mail going to you. And there's another little bonus starting tomorrow. So anybody that ordered yesterday, today, um, you're going to get the bonus too as well that I'm going to start in tomorrow's um, party. So we have a catalog launch party tomorrow, starting tomorrow, tomorrow and Friday. So Thursday, Friday, a two-day two day party, a virtual one in the virtual party group. If you go above, so if you're watching on Facebook, go above, there is a link to the group. I'll be sharing it again. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, go to the comments. That's where you're going to find the link for the party group. If you're not on Facebook, no problem. I'm going to share all the videos over on YouTube as well. And you can take part in the, in all of the drawings. You can get yourself signed up for door prizes and whatnot. So there's going to be lots of prizes given away. There is going to be a stamp sets given away and all kinds of fun stuff. Speaking of that, as I'm just letting you look at my stuff, uh, last week I did do a stamp set drawing, so I will be contacting by message in the next couple of days. This week's, well, really last week's winner, um, I think I had the name. It was Donna Schultz was last week's winner. So here are my free stamp sets. I'll be adding a few to this. So when you take part in the videos for the next few weeks, because I've got to dwindle down my supply here so I can get some new ones, which I mean, these are all pretty new. Um, well, they're all brand new, but you know, they're from the annual catalog. And so when you win my prize patrol, you're going to get to pick a stamp set out of here. So I just send you a picture of it. You tell me what you want. I send it in the mail to you. That goes for today too. So all you have to do is participate in the Facebook lives, participate in the virtual party. It's going to be a great time. Okay. So why do I have this dazzling paper here? Of course, you all are dazzling friends of mine because you're a stamper. Any friend, any stampers, a dazzling friend of mine. Anyways, so I'm showing you this paper in particular. I'm not using it today. This one is while supplies last. So if you have a wish list a mile long, be sure to add this first if it's on there before you add something else because it's while supplies last. As well as these cute little sheep dies. Maybe that's what's coming today. And then there's one more that is as well. And I believe, see, look at this, how exciting this is. I can share with you the inside of this catalog now. I thought I had it marked. There's some other dies. What is the name of them? Let me see if I can, these ones right here, um, summer shadow dies. So those three things are while supplies last. And you know, the other stuff might be as well, but those were the three that were listed. And then here's this cute little um, sheep, counting sheep stamp set and sheep dies. All right, here's the mini catalog, went live yesterday. Great stuff in there. We're gonna talk a lot about that during the virtual party. I'm gonna share with you some projects. Hopefully I can come up with some. I gotta do a little work tonight and tomorrow morning to get ready for that. So the first live tomorrow is gonna to be in the party group and um, it's at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Other stuff is gonna start posting around 11. I believe the door prize form might even go live today. So get yourself in the group if you're not already. You, Many of you are probably already in the party group, but it's gonna be a great time. All right, so here are the sheep dies. Those are free with a purchase. So the dies and the stamp set. Um, I moved it over while I was making my supply list today for you. Oh, I dropped my card too. All right. And so here is the stamp set. Look at how cute that is. And so lots of lots of possibilities with the Counting Sheep stamp set and the Sheep dies. Both are free with a $50 order. So if you, you know, you could order one today, one tomorrow, you could add them all together. All right. So let's set those aside. I'm going to let you continue to take a little look at those. And I'm gonna bring in my supplies for today. We're gonna to do something a little different and I'm gonna actually be coloring with some colored pencils. So not something I do um, very often. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I used them. My son uses my colored pencils all the time and he actually just returned them because he was cleaning up his room. And I don't know, I, apparently that is what was really keeping his room messy was my colored pencils in his room. But I'm glad he returned them because I'm using them today. So I do have some fun bright colors today. Now today's card is straight out of the catalog. So you're gonna, you're gonna see this card in the end and go, wait a minute, that looks really familiar. And it should because I case the catalog. So as you know, I said at the beginning, I came down this morning, I had no idea what I was gonna do. So what I do when I have no idea what I'm gonna do is I look at my catalog and I wonder, why did I order that stamp set? Well, because of the cute sample I saw in the catalog. So that's typically I case the catalog um, for probably almost every stamp set I get at least one of the cards. All right, so here's my elements that I have. I just have some basic white. I just, that's a basic um, card 
card cut, I guess. So it is just uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. My next layer, I'm using some pumpkin pie today. Great color to have moving into the fall and Halloween season, um, but I'm gonna use it for a birthday card today. So I have got the measurements of five and one fourth by four. Okay, next layer down. See, we're just going a fourth of an inch down. We have got five by three and three fourths. And I'm gonna see here, I don't know if I have it handy. I don't know that I do. But I do have a measure, oh it is, it's right up here. So these measurements are very basic. I like to bring this up to you because when you join the VIP list, you do get this template emailed to you within 24 hours. So if you like struggle with these little finicky ones, yesterday I did a project using the three A's and you know, the five A's and things. And if you're wondering, gosh, where is that on my ruler? This is a good little tool to have. So you do get that for free when you join the VIP email list. And that's where all the fun is anyways. That's where the tutorial Tuesday comes out every Tuesday and you get a fun little project. All right, so this is crumb cake. We got pumpkin pie, crumb cake. I just have some scraps, no measurement needed there. I've got granny apple green, haven't used that one in a while. Bermuda Bay, and then of course the pumpkin pie to pull it all together. So let's go ahead and start our stamping. And then, oh, I have some circles. I colored the, or colored, I colored these out of, no, I cut these out of my layering circle dies, just one of the smaller circles. And this is vellum, so we're gonna use that element at the end there. Okay, so let's bring in our stamps. I already have these on my clear blocks. And because I'm using colored pencils, um, the ink that works best with colored pencils is the black stays on. There's also actually, and I didn't even know it, like a saddle brown stays on, so that's an option too. Um, and so that works well when you're using the stamp and write markers or um, the colored pencils to color with. Now, I'm gonna go a little crazy here, so what sheep do I wanna start with? You know, I wanna start, it really doesn't matter, but I wanna start with this one. So there are three different sheep in this stamp set. I love the fence. I'm gonna make a little card, a couple more cards that I'll share with you during the virtual party tomorrow using this stamp set. And I, I will figure out a different project to stamp with you at 2 p.m. But I'm gonna be doing a lot of sharing and showing. I have got on Friday scheduled at 2 p.m. Um, a card swap share. I, have, I haven't even opened it, but I have a huge, huge, huge box, 60 cards in all, that just came back to me from a card swap that I took part in. And so I will go through those and share with you all of my favorites, which, you know, is probably all of them. But I will try to bring it down to a manageable amount that I can share for about a half an hour with you. We have got exciting. It's been a while since we've done this. Now, Friday night at 7 p.m., there is going to be a mystery card stamping event. So that is gonna be awesome. We haven't done that for a while, but we've done them before and they are super fun. So I hope you can join me live, but you know, the great thing about virtual is you can, you can play along anytime you want. And along with the virtual swap is going to be question and answer because we have got some great specials going on. I love my stamp and scrap group and I know people have questions about it. So Friday night is gonna be, you know, live. It's gonna be August 6th. It, but, you know, you can watch any time and um, take part in that. And then, um, but if you ask any questions beforehand, there's going to be a post that you can ask some questions in. And if you ask a question, you're going to be entered in a separate prize patrol drawing. So we're going to have some fun. And I'm going to be giving lots of prizes away for that. All right. And so that is Friday night, 7 p.m. The measurements for the mystery card will post in the group. Uh, let's see, when will they post? I believe it's like, Friday at four. So that'll give you a little bit of time to get ready. Oh, I have one more thing I gotta do. So look at that, I just sprinkled those sheep. I didn't even think about it. I just did it. So when you're doing random stuff, that's kind of the trick. Don't overthink your randomness. Just go ahead and throw them on there. Talk to a friend while you're doing it and that'll be absolutely wonderful. All right, so, oh my goodness, I just turned my volume on. I just see that, so on Facebook here, Donna, who was last week's Prize Patrol winner, just logged on. So hello, Donna, I will be sending you a message or feel free to send me a message right now and then it'll show up and I will send you a picture of your options because of course I will need your address to send you your little Prize Patrol winning. Okay, I hope we're back. 
I am sorry. I turned off the notifications and I just got a phone call. I don't know why that came through. That seems to happen. I got to figure out the magic trick to that. So now look at this. These little sheep, because we're doing a birthday card, they got to have some birthday hats. So I'm just sprinkling my little birthday hats in wherever there's an open spot. So I basically made my own designer series paper today. And let's see, what other stamp am I going to need? I'm going to need this one and this one. We'll put these ones away. So I'm going to leave these set to the side. Now let's do the, what should we do first? I think we'll do the coloring and then we'll do the rest of the stamping for the sentiments. So what I do, I just have a little case. Now I apologize, we don't have these larger cases anymore. There are the smaller ones though. And there is really no rhyme or reason to my um, colored pencils. So there are two different um, two different sets of colored pencils. So in my description, I did put both of them because mine are mixed up all mumble jumble, like I said before. Um, so I've got both sets all mixed together. So I'm just gonna pull some random colors from here, add some color to my sheep. And then, um, so I wanted to make sure, you know, you could pick one or the other, but you would want, if you wanna do white, the white is in the first assortment. So, you know, that would be important. But, you know, the nice thing about colored pencils is cost-wise, it's a very inexpensive way to add color to your project. A couple things I'll share with you while I'm, or when I'm doing these. You see, I'm not doing anything too fancy here. I'm just kind of scribbling along my sheep. I don't know, that didn't really make a lot of sense. But anyway, so I'm just, I'm not gonna do like any crazy neat perfection type coloring. You can, and it'd probably look better than mine, but I think in the end, it's gonna look great. So a couple things to show here. Let me see. I should have maybe half colored them like a cooking show. And then, you know, you went to have to watch me color the whole thing. But since I'm going to complete this card, I got to color all these little sheep in. I almost think that these sheep might need some names. There's three. You know, it's kind of like, I think this was the same with the goats. Our, we're, or our, because the goats are still around, are kind of the same deal where there's like the mellow, you know, more serious goat. We've got kind of the, the fun, you know, like that's kind of the cool one. And then we've got the out of control dancing goat or sheep, you know, so there's like the three different personalities. So it could be like the three different, you know, like me and my brothers. We've got, yeah, so I don't know. Some of you guys know my family. Yes, <laughs> kind of funny. I'm in the middle, so I'm the girl in the middle. I would say that I'm kind of this one, you know, I'm the fun one, right? My older brother, he's like the serious guy. And then my little brother is kind of the wild child, you know? So, I mean, that's definitely fitting. So if you have three people in your family or three siblings, or maybe you have more, but, uh, you know, I wonder if that little example fits you too. Anyways, all right. So, and I just thought of my brothers because I was with my older brother and his family this last weekend. We were at their cabin. It was wonderful. Okay, so next what I want to do is some gray, and I hope I left my black here. Yes. So I have gray and black, and I'm gonna color. It's just basic gray. Oh, I grabbed brown. Where is my basic gray? I know it's here. Here it is. All right, so basic gray. I'm just gonna color the legs, the basic gray, and the face. Again, I'm gonna share with you a trick how to blend these when we're done. So if you've never used these, I'll show you. I'll show you what you're gonna wanna do. And I'm gonna try to avoid the eyes if I can. But again, see, this is just kind of a scribble. You know, nothing too crazy. And you could certainly color these in with your blends. You could also, let's just touch on the ears. Just one little, one little kind of swirl, I guess. I don't know what that's called. And so let's go here. Oh, I missed a sheep. I didn't color that one. That could be the black sheep. So that's another thing, so kind of cute. So when I was a kid, so my dad's family had 13 kids. And one of the uncles always was getting my grandma these unique, unique gifts. And she had this little tray, you know, it was a little round tray and it had little stuffed sheep in it. And it had little Velcro, if I remember right, that you can you could change the name and there was one black sheep, you know, the black sheep of the family. So there was one black sheep. So whoever was there to visit, would always put somebody else's name on the black sheep. 
and then all the other names, you know, so there was 13 little sheep and the, or yeah, 13 sheep, 12 were white, one was black. And then you could switch out the name. So I don't know if anyone ever, anyone else had one of those, but it was kind of cute. I have no idea where he got it from, but it was always a joke. It was always kind of funny. Anyways, let's get going here. All right, one last one here. And then I'm gonna take my black and the little feet, would that be hooves? I don't know how to say that. But anyways, we'll just touch on those. So if we have any farm people here, please, by all means, correct my saying on my sheep. I don't know much about sheep, actually. I don't know much about farming. My husband recently, he's, you know, my husband, great guy. He's all full of ideas, though. So the latest idea, and I, I'm hoping it's a joke. The latest idea is that we should move to Montana, okay? Gonna move or Wyoming. I don't know. But it's beautiful there. I would love it there. Because I'm in Minnesota. So if you're not from around here and you're just tuning in and wondering where I'm from, I'm from Minnesota. My husband thinks it would be great to move there. Again, I'm sure it's beautiful. I'm sure I would love the landscape and, and the people and everything else. However, I do kind of like it where I live now. But what we're gonna do while we're there is is we're going to raise cows. So I'm gonna become a farmer, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these cows. And then my daughter thinks it would be a great idea to um, have ducks. So she really wants ducks. In fact, she said to me the other day that she wishes or wonders when we're, we, like as in me, are going to move to the country so she can get these ducks. And I said, well, well, for heaven's sakes, Allison, I sure think that's a great goal in life is that when you graduate college, and decide to buy a house of your own, you can move to the country and have your ducks. So that's the plan. All right, so let's see. You know, one other option I wanted to share with you, and because I didn't use it, I'm gonna end up putting my sentiment down here, so I'll show you down here. And another option to get white onto a card is to use this Stampin' Chalk Marker, which I didn't even check. I sure hope it's still available. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry. Okay, so see, that will also give you the white, if you would like. It does give it a little different look. It works. It looks nice, too. Okay, so that's an option. But now what I want to share is these blender pens. So I just keep these right in with my um, chalk or my chalk markers, my watercolor markers. And so you can use these for other things as well. But they come in a three-pack. And I like to keep separate ones. You know, you can color off the color and, you know, mix them with another color. But I do tend to keep one for blues, one for, you know, reds and oranges and things like that. And so I have my three markers here. And it might be a little bit harder to see on this part. I wonder if I can hold that up. So what you do here is, and then it blends that color together. So that's why I was just doing kind of a scribble. It leaves a little bit on there too, you know, so if I missed a little spot, that's no problem. Or if I want to like color in this hat. And so this is a great way to blend. This is kind of how we were blending before we had the blends markers. A very inexpensive way to do blending and coloring if you're not ready to invest in um, all of the blends markers or perhaps you just like another way to color. I mean, Options are options. I love having options. And so now I will take the blue and I will do the same thing on there. And what's really going to be great is when you see the face of the sheep and the legs when I blend those together. Okay, let's just move along here. There we go. And now I'm seeing I missed one of my sheep. Easy to do. Whoop. And let's just give this guy a little color here. Okay, so let's see here. And that was also a conversation at my brother's cabin. Not even knowing, I can't even, we talked about sheep a lot there without even knowing that I was going to work with this sheep set today. And so see, like I missed color on there, on this little one, but there's a little left on my blend. So as I do these, it fills in where I miss. So that is why, let me just show this. That's why I could just do a scribble. I didn't have to worry about having it perfectly colored in. And like here I kind of missed, so now I'll just put a little bit there. That's left over on my blender. And so I'll just run along here. 
and finish these. Okay, so this weekend at my brother's house, we were um, talking about, I don't know, you know how you start talking about the good old days. And my mom was talking about when she grew up on the farm and how they would keep the sheep in because they had, they had sheep. And um, she said they had an electric fence that went across the driveway. And when they would come home, one of the kids, and you know, they were pretty little, they would have to like, of course it was high enough, they could get underneath it, but would have to crawl under the electric fence and go and shut the breaker off so that you could open the fence and then the car could get in. So isn't that something? I mean, this was many, many years ago. She said they didn't do, they didn't have sheep very many years. That was like, not for them. All right, so see, now I'm just gonna touch on the ears that I missed, adding color, just so everything is nice and colored in. So look at how cute that background is. Isn't that just adorable? So if you're kind of going side by side and looking at the catalog, this is a card that I'm casing. It's on the left side of the celebration catalog. If you're looking online um, and you search the counting sheep stamp set, I'm sure that image will show up as well. So next what we're gonna do is bring in these scraps and we're gonna do some heat embossing. Now you could definitely just go ahead and stamp it, cut it out, and you're gonna have a great look as well. But if you wanna take it to like a next step, you're gonna bring in some white embossing powder. We do need Versa Mark. And I have another little thing I need to do on the Versa too, so I'm gonna set that out so I don't forget. Actually, why don't I do that first so I don't forget? So within the stamp set is this little bit of grass. Now, I don't wanna bring in another ink color. You could, but I'm not going to. So I have just a strip of 3 eighths of an inch um, I'm going to snip it down so that part doesn't, how long it is doesn't matter. But so this is just three eighths of an inch. I'm going to use this for my background for a little, little extra element. And so I'm going to take the grass actually. And basically what I'm doing here is making my own little piece of designer series paper, just so it's not just a solid color. And I'm going to just, it's not supposed to look like grass here. So I'm just going to kind of go random all over this sheet of paper, I'm using Versamark. So that just, you know, it's, it gives it the tone on tone. If you wanted to bring out a pool party ink, you could do that. But I thought for the sake of not bringing out any more supplies, I would just use my Versamark. So if you ever wanna get a tone on tone look, just go ahead and use your Versamark. Especially because I have it out already um, for my embossing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And the cool part about what I'm doing here is I'm gonna end up with leftovers. So from my three times I'm gonna stamp, I could get six cards out of it. So let's bring back the Versamark. I'm gonna use the sentiment, so glad it's your birthday. Let's just do a nice little tap tap. That'll make it so I don't get halos around um, when I am putting my powder on in a straight up, straight down position. And we're gonna do the same on the pumpkin pie. Look at these colors together. Doesn't that just make you happy? Now, of course, our mini catalog is moving to fall and to Christmas because, you know, if you're gonna be doing those cards, now is the time to start planning. But I wasn't quite ready to move into that. So that's why I am doing a nice, fun, cheerful birthday card today. But that catalog does move that direction. It is getting to be that time of the year. If you're you know, gonna send out Christmas cards, you do wanna be planning some ideas right now. And that's the great part about our celebration catalog is there's some um, great papers in there that are free with a purchase right now. But isn't this one cute? I'd probably pick this one first. All right, and so I have got my white embossing powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there, give it a little tap, and now it's ready to heat. I'm gonna do all three and then we'll heat them all at the same time. We'll do the same here. I love white embossing powder. Um, it does, it just makes it so you can use all these fun colors, you know? I mean, you can stamp on them, but I think the white just looks great. And let's tap that off of there. And so look at that, I'm gonna have three, but really, once you see what I'm doing, I'm gonna actually have, um, some other options to do with these after. I'll set this aside and pour that back in later. I just use a coffee filter. I like to store my embossing powder right in here, so that's what I do. I know some people put theirs in containers and there's other options, so however you like to store them works fabulous. All right, and so I'm gonna bring in my um, heat tool here. 
And then I'm gonna hold this up so that you can see it changing colors. And so you can go from this way or you can also go from underneath. So there's no wrong way about this. I, you know, on the video, it might be hard to see. Oh, there it's starting to change. And so at when it, as soon as it starts to change, then I move it along there. So how I kind of, sometimes how I start, I just do this a little bit. And then the second it starts to change, let's see, we'll hold it nice and close so that you can see that hopefully. So it's just all regular, there it goes, it's magical. And now I just move my heat tool along and then give it a little whirl and it is done. And let's do the next one. I just love this, this is so much fun. And you know, the embossing powder will last you like a lifetime. So once you have it, you don't have to worry about getting it again for a long, long time. Cool thing is, sure, you need to re-ink probably your Versa, but you can, you know, have lots and lots of life out of the color of your, um, or the color of your powders. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut this out. So, you know, real fancy technique here. I'm going to cut my words out. And it's going to end up saying, so glad, so glad it's your birthday. Okay. And so I don't know if it matters what colors I'm doing. So I'm going to save this. So see, now I can use this for another card. And I think I will do this one will be my center. And then I'll cut out of the Bermuda Bay the, the top sentiment. So that is so fun when you can cut these apart. I love that. That's kind of, I mean, I've done it here and there but I've been doing it a lot lately and I've really been enjoying the look that you get when you cut apart your sentiments. And you know, it really adds to what you can say, obviously too. Uh, here we go. So sometimes if you look at a stamp and you're like, well, I don't quite like what that says or I wish it would say that, we can easily change the order or how we want it to look just by doing this little, I don't even know if I'd call this a technique, but by doing this, okay? So now here we have my so glad, so glad it's your birthday. All right, and we'll move that out of the way. And then I am going to, I'm gonna set my little circle here because what I want to end up happening is this to go under there. So I will just snip this at an angle and I'm gonna do the same. Let's see, I want it to go the same direction here. Remove all of my scraps. And then let's start building up this card. So I will go ahead and do my layers up first. Now in the catalog, they had this layer, the crumb cake, going right onto the basic white. I decided I wanted to add a layer, so I put it onto the pumpkin pie, and then I'm gonna add it to my basic white. And I'm using my stamp and seal, so I just need a little bit of adhesive because it is nice and sticky. And let's go ahead now and we'll put this down. See, I knew I was gonna shut, cover that little guy's, his little head, but somebody has to be. So that's why we're gonna put it over that one. But look, we still got the dancing one up there. So we're still getting the fun look of that dancing, dancing sheep. Okay, so we'll put that there. And then next, what I'm gonna do, cause we gotta add a little element of texture with some twine or ribbon, something like that. So I will go ahead and just take my baker's twine and I am going to, or linen thread, I think is what they call it now. I'm gonna tie a nice big bow, okay? Pretty, pretty large. Lar this bow is large and in charge. And so then I will snip off my ends and add it with a glue dot. And I can always uh, snip it down farther if um, I want to. So here, let's go ahead and set that in the center. Oh, wrong way. Well, that's okay. Wrong, not wrong way, wrong layer. So I wanna put it behind my vellum. And here we go. See, look at that. Now I wanna put my vellum down. That glue dot can be there, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna bring in the mini ones for this because you see how small those are. And let's just add a couple here. I'm gonna just put them in the center. Not gonna really see if the sentiment will end up covering it up. That glue dot that I put there, it doesn't matter. 
And so see, my bow is just sneaking out of there. You can see it from behind, it looks adorable. And then last but not least, we just need to add these elements to our card. And how am I gonna do that? Well, because they're so tiny, I'm going to take the edges and I'm gonna just give it the smallest little snip and make my own size. I'm gonna do three of these. And then this actually fits, oh, it looks like it fell off. Actually, I might need more. Nope, three's good. So since this one fell off, I will get it ready and put it on here. So you can make any size you want. I can take a regular, these regular minis are gonna fit on my birthday. Okay, and I do hope that you're enjoying today's video. And if you joined in late, do remember we have got a virtual catalog launch party beginning tomorrow over in the virtual party group. You can go up to the headline uh, or the posting here today and see the group. I'll be sharing it again too, but there is a link to just join the group if you're not already in there. And that way you will get to take part in the party. Now, once you're in the group, there are different settings. I believe if you just go to the group where you can say, get notifications. So if you wanna be notified when I go live um, or when something gets posted or things are happening over there, make sure to do that because Facebook doesn't always wanna just show you things. All right, so I'm gonna kinda of put that one at a little, little angle and then we'll add this one on the top and that's gonna end up completing our card. I'll bring in my other sample card so you can see two at the same time. I'll bring in these little elements over here to get one last view while I look if there's any comments to address as I'm like flipping this one all over the place. All right, here you go. So this is the first card I have made out of the celebration catalog with a stamp. I did, well, yeah, with a stamp. I use that penguin paper, adorable penguin paper. So I'm gonna be sharing lots more to do with celebration and some of those products starting tomorrow in the party group. But for today, look at what I started with. I had no idea that this was gonna happen this morning. So this morning when I came down here at 8.30, I was like, what am I gonna do? Well, I am gonna case the catalog when I don't know what I'm gonna do. Here you go. Isn't this just fabulous? All right, everybody. That is probably it for today. Again, our like, share, comment, take part in today's video or this week's video all week long. Anytime from now until next Wednesday, whether you're watching on YouTube, watching on Facebook, everybody gets entered to win a stamp set. So take part and then you might be next week's winner. All right, everybody. Have a great week. I don't see anything urgent to address over on the comments, but I will definitely be taking a look back um, throughout the day and the week. And I hope you guys have a great week. I hope to see you tomorrow or Friday or on the replay in the virtual catalog launch party group. All right, everybody. See you later.